morning. It's Monday, May 31st, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Surprised by Kindness, and our scripture is Romans chapter 12. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Elizabeth and I were on a mission several years ago. We were hunting down a larger cooler for grocery shopping. The store we favor is a 30-minute drive, and when the thermometer tops 90 degrees, it's not good to have your veggies and frozen fish melting in the trunk. Well, our pitiful little cooler was hardly big enough to hold a dozen eggs and a head of lettuce. This was a must-accomplished task. One of the chief characteristics of people who laser focus on a task ahead is how they're so surprised when they discover the task has already been accomplished. That's me, guilty as charged. Here's how it happened. On roughly the 189th store we entered that day, and I'm normally good for about two, we found what we'd found 188 times before, not a cooler that came close to what we wanted. On the way out, we saw it. A lady had the best cooler ever in the checkout line. Elizabeth walked up to her and asked where they kept those prized little gems. Now, I couldn't hear, but I saw the lady shake her head no. They talked a few moments while I fidgeted, figuring this meant we would head for store number 190 shortly. Then, the lady picked up the cooler and handed it to Elizabeth. Yes! 189 stores and no more! I was about to pick up my bride and twirl her in that romantic dance move all around the checkout area. We had prevailed, accomplished the mission. That's when Elizabeth unveiled the surprise. The lady was about to purchase the last cooler in the store. It was on sale for a ridiculously low price and had released the coveted trophy into our keeping with these words, Here, you take it. I already have one and you need it. I was shocked to a standstill. I felt like Moses. I wanted to take off my shoes and stay at this holy ground burning bush forever. Where or oh, where was that kind of kindness found anymore? I wanted to run after that woman and sit at her feet like the disciples on the Mount of Transfiguration. This was a miracle. Now, that sounds like a good cue for the swell of heartwarming music at the end of a Hallmark movie. But it's just the beginning. Since that day, whatever it's grocery store day, as I'm loading ice or groceries into the cooler, or wheeling the little igloo into the house for unloading, or cleaning it out afterward, I think of that woman's kindness. Truth be told, I cannot remember what she looked like or the sound of her voice, but the kindness, simply setting her own wishes aside so she could bless a couple of strangers. Well, that speaks so loudly to my soul, I can just never get the image out of my heart. For you today, as a pastor, I've heard from many believers, followers of Jesus Christ, that they don't know how to be a witness for Jesus. It's a daunting task that requires too much risk or personal theological expertise. It's just above my pay grade, Pastor. Well, can you let go of your hold on the cooler? Can you let someone go ahead of you in the line? Can you smile at the poor woman behind the counter at the vehicle tag office? You know, if you'll give that a whirl, when it comes to being a disciple and witness of Christ, you'll find you've got a lot more game than you thought. Go ahead, be the surprise. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.